Meanwhile, we are seeing a call for gun legislation in South Carolina as well, pretty similar to a proposal that failed in our roundhouse this year. The NAACP is pushing for laws to punish parents or guardians if their children get access to guns and use them. An Albuquerque lawmaker, as you recall, sponsored a similar bill this past legislative session at our roundhouse, but it died in a House committee. Back in South Carolina, advocates are also saying there is nothing wrong with being a responsible gun owner, but they do not think it's necessary for people to walk around with assault weapons. And here at home, at least one New Mexican is in agreement there. And he owns one of those AR-style guns. But now he's hoping what he does with that weapon will bring some compromise and therefore some beauty out of our most recent tragedy that we have in Texas. Spencer Schott spoke with him today. And Spencer, this is his way of trying to be part of a solution. Yeah, Tessa, Garrett Van, uh, Van Klaassen says he realized nothing will change if the conversation around guns is only between people who will never agree. He is turning over this AK-style rifle so it can be morphed into gardening tools, and he's hoping fellow gun owners will follow his lead. It is a AK platform. Garrett Van Klaassen is an avid hunter. He works in conservation, and he owns multiple guns. So this is a, a Ruger a 22 Magnum, single action. Revolver. But after seeing so many tragedies caused by assault weapons, like the one he owns, Venaclausen is doing something he hopes will lead to change from his little corner in Taos. I just reached a point where I thought it was my civic duty and really a, a moral obligation to, to do this. I, Kids are dying. Little kids are dying, right? I've got a, a daughter, and I, I just can't imagine the horror of losing my daughter to something like this. He's decided to donate his AK-style rifle, similar to the assault weapon used in the Uvalde, Texas massacre. But this one will be dismantled. I think complicity from me as a gun owner is immoral. I, I think that we have to come together as, as gun owners and and say, no, the gun lobby and the NRA are wrong. And there are some immediate common sense things that we must do to put an end to this. Common sense laws to this gun owner would include universal background checks, stronger red flag laws, and a mandatory 48-hour waiting period on gun purchases. I mean, that's what we do, right? If opiates are killing people, we regulate them more heavily, right? If if the speeding limit on a highway is too high, we lower that speeding limit to save lives. And when he turns in this weapon, something designed to take lives, it'll be transformed into a tool designed to sustain life. So what we're going to do is we'll have our chop saw there and we will, um, or Garrett will help us, I hope, uh, dismantle it on site. And then we're yep. bringing in a, a forge and Garrett's going to help us actually forge the metal into a gardening tool. Um, that we will gift to him. Vanna Clausen hopes his decision will lead to growth, and not just in a potential garden, but in finding compromise. I'm appealing really to all the other gun owners out there who are community-minded, who are civic-minded, who love their communities, and go like, hey, I'm going to do the same thing because I can. And, and is my life going to be less than because they don't have this gun? No, it isn't. Now, Van Clausen will be handing over his AK on Saturday in Albuquerque during the event with the New Mexicans to prevent gun violence. Now, the group will also be handing out thousands of gun locks and holding a raffle for new gun sales, as well as making these gardening tools. And that event will happen at the Mesa Presbyterian Church in Albuquerque from 11 to 2. Tessa. Spencer, thanks for all the information there and that story, of course.